In 2016, Funko released some of my favorite action figures, and you know what? It looks like 2017 is off to a perfect start. Why? Because today we're taking a look at the Funko Playmobil Ghostbuster figures. They're kind of creepy, but at the same time, oh, so adorable. Now, in the set so far, there is Dr. Peter Venkman, Dr. Ray Stance, no sign of Egon or Winston, but hey, maybe if these sell well, we'll eventually see them. Also, these are not the only figures in the Funko Playmobil line. They've got figures based around Doctor Who, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Back to the Future, and more. Now, before I tear these two open and fangirl all over them in some twisted form of childhood nostalgia, I gotta make note that I really can't look at these like they're normal action figures. These are Playmobil figures scaled up to six inches tall. The articulation is gonna be garbage, that's, that's for sure here. And the look and design is pretty much as basic as you can get. I mean, hell, these are meant to be kids' toys. But of course, now kids' toys upscaled for adult collectors, so. Now, two things I love about this packaging. One is this window box design. It makes it great for people who are, well, mint on card collectors. Now, for the people who actually like to tear open the packaging, They've made it so you actually don't have to tear this apart to get to the figure. All you have to do is cut down here and here, which I've already done. Now you do have to actually tear off the tab down here, but this will allow you to actually get at the figure while at the same time keeping the package in pretty good shape. Now that I've shown you how to get into these, let's uh, review the actual figure, shall we? Once again, such a simple design on these guys. The articulation, there's not too much to them whatsoever. His arms, they move. Uh, there's really, there's actually absolutely no head swivel whatsoever. It looks like there's like a joint here at the waist, but I can't get him to bend and I'm afraid to put any more pressure on him. But really, if you're buying a Funko figure at this stage, especially a Funko Playmobil figure for articulation, you're buying the wrong toy line. And being that the Playmobil figures are typically more basic, I gotta say the detail on this guy is not bad whatsoever. He even has those gold brass zippers on his suit. We got the name tag on the chest as well as also the no ghost logo on the arm. He's also got accessories that other typical Ghostbuster action figures have like his elbow pads and his web belt that even has a radio attached to it. Turning him around we also get our very first look at the Playmobil Proton Pack. Yes it is toned down from what we actually see on a Proton Pack but it does a hell of a job at simplifying that design. The face itself is a Playmobil face. I mean, this is what you'd expect when you think Playmobil. But being that this is a figure of Bill Murray, I gotta say, I love the detail in the hair, especially those wings at the side. And after that, we've got Ray Stance, who is pretty much identical to Peter in almost every single way, except for one, and that is, of course, of the face, which he's got a brand new hair mold that features the Ecto goggles. The suit is the same, the detailing is the same, the pack is the same. Oh, and actually speaking of the Proton Pack, one thing I should mention is that the actual one itself is not detachable. It is on there. Now, oddly enough, Ray did actually come with one accessory, and that is of the Ghost Trap. It fits easy into his hand, and it fits very snug. And it really makes me hope that they continue this line so we can get maybe like an Egon Spangler that would come with the PKE meter. So if you'd like to pick up Dr. Ray Stans or Dr. Peter Venkman in all their Funko Playmobil glory, we've got links right down below in the description for you. Head on over to entertainmentearth.com today, pick these two guys up, you are not going to regret it. And like I said, there is more figures within the Funko Playmobil line, TMNT, Back to the Future, Willy Wonka, Doctor Who, so on and so forth. So if you like those also, once again, be sure to check out the links right down below in the description. So hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing, and we'll see you guys right back here next time on Ghostbusters News. Oh, you know, I had a good date last night. What I did is I pumped her full of Thorazine, out like a light, had my- Hey guys, I'm a Ghostbuster. Wanna play? What the hell is that thing? <laughs>